Hello friends! Good afternoon. Welcome to a Tuesday at 2. I'm excited to be connecting with you uh, and I hope that you'll still feel comfortable leaving comments. Let me know you're here. Let me introduce myself. My name is Genevieve Ko, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Markham, Ontario, Canada. But while you're watching this video, I actually won't be in Markham. I am scheduled to be in Chicoutimi, Quebec, um, improving my French language skills. So, but I didn't want to leave you high and dry without inspiration all month. So uh, I'm hoping you'll enjoy this video. I love to pick a theme excuse me, or a product and kind of focus on it all month. So July is a very exciting month. It is the month that the new celebration promotion starts. So if you're not familiar with celebration, you can certainly get familiar with it. You can um, head to my website and read about it. But Celebration is basically a promotion that offers extra perks. It's only right now, there's sort of a summer celebration and there's been winter celebration, but right now it's July and August. So hopefully you watched the video last week that went through a big long kind of walkthrough of the holiday catalog, which is a new catalog, and as well um, got a taste of what's happening in Celebration. So I know I went over it last week. I won't go too much into it this week except to say there's three perks during celebration. There's shopping perks so that you can shop and for every $60 increment you can earn a free gift from Stampin' Up. You can host or get Stampin' Rewards, uh, sort of a, a host gift. And so I kind of like to use host in quotes because um, we can certainly do, uh, you can get your friends to get and I'll lead a class or a workshop or a presentation for you guys to enjoy and be inspired. Um, you'd have to book that in August when I am back. But uh, you can also get when when the party totals reach 375, um, you can get a free exclusive stamp set called um, I think it's purely pomegranate. Oh, Okay, so not entirely sure, but uh, it's a free stamp set and we all love free. Free is the best price ever. So, uh, but don't feel like you have to host a party to get that stamp set. Although I love um, helping you have fun with your friends. You can also just um, share uh, the catalog with others, share the website with others, collect up the orders with your friends. And as long as the total reaches 375 or more, you have that um, free stamp set for yourself. And of course, you can be a party of one and enjoy shopping for yourself. And when you get to 375, you will get that free stamp set. And then the third perk during celebration is the perk of joining my team and joining the Stampin' Up! family. So it's already an amazing deal. You get to pick $165 of whatever you want. You pay only $135, no tax, no shipping. But during celebration, Stampin' Up! will throw in a free stamp set three cute notebooks, and this gorgeous, gorgeous planner. Okay, oh, am I holding it the right way? Yep, sorry, I'm holding it the wrong way. Here it is. It's got a magnetic clasp, and then I only put some of the pages in. Like, there's so many extra pages you can put in to help um, plan, organize. This would make a great gift. It's so beautiful. Um, so that is, all these things are like a free gift from Stampin' Up! for when you buy the starter kit in July or August during celebration. So don't wait. Uh, definitely, if you have a lot of stuff on your wish list that you love or you watch my demonstration and you think, oh my gosh, there's a lot of fun things to get, I agree. <laughs> I started out buying a few things here and there, but it seemed pretty obvious that I needed to uh, take advantage of the starter kit. So there's no obligation. You don't have to sell parties. Uh, you don't have to sell product or host parties. You can if you want to earn income or to help you um, 
experience the extra excitement and fun that comes along with being a demonstrator, but you can just be a happy shopper. We don't judge on Team Stick, on my team. We just all love stamping. So if you want to get the starter kit for the savings and your own discount, that's great. If you want to do it for the earnings and earn a little bit of side income or for the fun community, just being inspired by other crafters and connecting with other um, paper crafters, it's a great option. Okay, so that's the quick lowdown on celebration. Welcome, welcome. Keep commenting. I love to read your comments, even if um, I might get to reading them later. Uh, I'm still hoping to hand out a little happy mail um, and we'll pick winners. So don't worry about that. I would love to hear what you're up to and uh, whether you join me every week, I'd love to see you or whether and read your comments or whether this is your first time. If it's your first time to my page, welcome. So every Tuesday afternoon around 2 p.m. I like to go live and share some stamping with you. So as I mentioned earlier, um, it's a little bit of a special month this month. Um, I'll be focusing on products from Celebration, but uh, I am sort of pre-recording the videos even though they're going live. I hope this is all working out and technology is in my favor. And so because of the time crunch, normally what I do is I prepare what card I'm gonna share and then I go live and share it. But things have been kind of time crunched. Some of the future Tuesday at 2 videos while I'm away might just be sharing a Stampin' Up! video or it might be just saying hello and sharing some swap cards. So uh, just because of time crunch, I'm not able to kind of do as robust a Tuesday as 2 as I normally do. Um, and so this week I do want to stamp for you, but I didn't pre-plan the project ahead of time. I'm just going to stamp. And so you're going to get to hear me mumbling and mumbling to myself as I normally do. It's like you're watching behind the scenes when I get ready for Tuesday at 2. So I sort of have an idea of what I want to play with. I know I want to use this stamp set. This is a free stamp set that you can get from Stampin' Up. You can't even buy it if you want to, want it to. You can only get it free with your $120 order during celebration. So don't be afraid to shop. Now is a wonderful time to shop. We've got a new catalog. We've got new products. We've got some amazing kits if you're new to stamping. But this versatile stamp set is a great one. So I knew I wanted to play with that. And I kind of have like kind of a card sketch in my mind. So I have a friend, a demonstrator friend that does this. Her name's Jen Pitta. And uh, she calls it her Throwdown Thursdays, I think is what she calls it. I think because she doesn't know what she's going to stamp, she just throws it down and that's what she does for her life. So maybe I'll just call this my Throwdown Tuesday. We don't know what's going to come out. We're just going to start stamping. Okay, so let me flip the camera around and uh, we can enjoy. Okay. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with my link tree, I want to make sure you know the address, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Stampin' for Fun. Uh, we are into July, so it is time to register for August classes. Um, and you can do that just by going here if you want to browse my online store. If you're ready to join and take advantage of the amazing deal starter kit, all those links are here. Okay. So, oh, I do have to tell you about classes. Anyway, maybe I'll do that next week. Let's play. Let's play. Okay. So I knew I wanted to use the stamp set and there is some designer series paper that I have been dying to play with as well. So this is the Butterfly Kisses Designer Series paper. I am just in love with the colors of this paper. Okay, so beautiful, the colors. Okay, so anyway, I, um, I just really wanted to play with this paper. So we'll just have to figure out what we're going to create with it. Um, I love that Fresh Freesia color. So let's Let's grab that. Okay, grab a piece of fresh freesia. And I wanted to see if I could do kind of a gate gatefold card today. 
So let's see what happens. You can cheer me on in the comments because I really don't know what I'm making, believe it or not. I am just going to play. So I'm cutting our eight and a half by 11 cardstock in half at five and a half. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to score it. Normally I score it at four and a quarter, but I want to try kind of a different gatefold card. So I'm going to try like, let's try, um, I'm running low on battery. I've been too busy recording things that my battery is low. Let me see if I can plug this in. Okay. You know what? Let me try one and three quarter inches. I'm going to score it at one and three quarter inches. I love this trimmer that we've got this little blade. If it doesn't work out, I have more cardstock. Okay. And then, see, this saves me from measuring. Okay. Because I wanted to do kind of an uneven gatefold card. Okay. And then I'm going to bring up the bottom edge and just try to match it up there to create our gatefold card. Okay, do you see what I'm doing there? Okay, so it's a little asymmetrical. Okay, but that's okay. I think that's okay. So do I wanna make it go portrait or landscape? Um, hmm, let's try portrait. Let's try portrait. Okay, so let's take our beautiful paper. Are you guys loving this? That like, this is how I design. I just play. I'm just playing. So I'm going to take the fresh freesia here. Okay, and then, I don't know, do I want it on this side or this side? Maybe I'll do it on this side. So I think I said I was doing one and three quarters. So I can cut the designer series paper at one and a half. And then by five and a quarter. Okay, and then let's measure what this ended up being because I just kind of folded it. Looks like two and a half. So let's pick a pretty, pretty coordinate. That's what I love about stamping up paper. First of all, it's double sided, but that you can, it, it's all going to match because it's all from the same kind of paper. So we'll do, um, two and a quarter inches by five and a quarter. So that should give us that. Okay, that looks good, right? Okay, and then let's, uh, let's put something exciting here. I could use the scallop contour dies. I'm going to pick up this orange color, which I believe is Calypso Coral. So let me get some of that Calypso Coral. There's some new dies, but I don't even think I've taken it out of the package yet. They're called the Deco Rectangle dies. I really wanted to play with those too. But I think I better stick with, because uh, otherwise it'll take me forever to find my new dies. So let's let's use the tried and true scallop contour dies. Okay, and then now is this too big? Yeah, I think that's too big. It'll cover too much cover too much. Let's get the slightly smaller rectangle, scallop rectangle from there. Yes, yes, that makes me happy. Let's do that. Sometimes you can look on the internet for what's called card sketches, and then you can take the sketch and then kind of go from there. So let's cut this out. 
and see what we get. Okay, and then you know what? The thing about paper is if you don't like it, you can try it again. You can make another one. Okay. So we'll see if my Throwdown Tuesday works. If you missed, if you missed my uh, chat in the beginning, I have a friend, Jen Pitta. She calls it her Throwdown Thursday. She doesn't even plan what she's going to make. She just hops on live and makes something. That's not really my personality, but given the time crunch of all the videos I wanted to do, it has come to this. <laughs> so go ahead, keep commenting, chat with one another, and don't worry, I'm going to be reading the comments from, from Quebec. I'm very curious how all this technology is going to work out for me and scheduling these posts. I mean, who knows? Is this going to work? I don't know. You got to live on the edge. You got to live, learn, live and learn. That's what they say. Okay, so I'm going to put a little, little, uh, piece inside so let's measure that it's about two inches by two inches by three and three eighths so let's cut that hey look i have a rectangle is it too big yeah okay okay so, two inches. So I want to go a little smaller by three and three eighths. So three and three eighths. So I'll just make it a little smaller, three and a quarter. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that fits nicely in there. Okay, so. I'm now wondering whether the card should be portrait, a uh, landscape. Oh, but the flowers are going this way. Oh, well, I guess it's going to be committed to portrait. It does look good, but it's because I want to use these words. And this woohoo kind of goes better in this direction. You know what I'm saying? I guess we could just do hay. Hay fits on there. Hey, you did it. Hmm. Okay. So, <laughs> but there's no picture. We need like a picture. Okay. Maybe it will come to me. Let's do the hay. And we'll see what will happen. I might not end up loving this card, but... On the other hand, I might end up loving it after all. I'm just happy that I'm using this beautiful paper that I've wanted to use for so long. Oh, we could do hey, hey, hey. I'm just going to go hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Sometimes I say that to my kids. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Pretty much like, don't walk off and leave that candy wrapper on my couch. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so the, again, just to repeat, this stamp set is available free with your $120 order during celebration. Hey, hey, hey. It needs an exclamation mark, really. But, okay. <laughs> hey, I think I'm liking this card. Let's glue it down. Let's see what happens, my friends. Are you guys liking this throwdown? I'm having a blast. We might get another video out of me after all. I was thinking, oh, that's it. I think I'm just gonna share Stampin' Up! videos in the following weeks. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Wasn't there a TV show like that? <laughs> Hey, 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 it's Albert or something. I can't remember. Okay, so it's looking okay. But now I did not buy the bundle associated with this paper. Maybe I just bought it last week. I really can't remember, but I don't have it at the moment. But I feel like, see, we could like take one of these beautiful butterflies. 
Hello, beautiful butterfly. We need you on our card. So I'm just gonna fussy cut one of these butterflies. I feel like the card needs it. If I had the coordinating bundle, I would cut this out with the die. But since I do not have it, we will fussy cut with scissors and we will talk while we're doing it. So I'll tell you what's going on tonight. I'm gonna be meeting with some friends from church as we get ready to leave for our missions trip on Sunday. So I'm hoping the weather stays nice so then we can meet outside in my backyard. Okay, and I hope to blog about my experience too on my blog. So by the time you watch this video, I'll have gone and done the volunteer work and been back. So go ahead and check out my blog. You can always check it out. The link is here. Um, the link tree stamping for fun. Go and see what I've got on my blog. I'll try and keep that updated while I'm on my adventures. Okay, so I know I can't remember the price of the bundle, but it is it's always nice to buy things that coordinate and uh, celebration is a perfect time to buy them because then you'll get extra bonus gifts with every $60 spend. So although the, the stamp set that I'm showing is free with a 120 spend. So there's kind of like level one and level two celebration gifts. The level one celebration gifts are like free with 60 and the level two are like free with 120. Okay, see, this is this is better already. Hmm. I feel like it needed something. Or the other thing we could do if we don't use it, we could put the butterfly inside. We'll have to think about that because there's these great sentiments at the bottom. Hey, 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 you've got this. Hey, 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 good looking. Hey, 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 I miss you. Hmm. I don't know if I like hey, 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 you. Yeah, hey, 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 you've got this. Hey, 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 it's going to be, no, I don't know, that doesn't mean anything. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, let's try you've got this. Let me see. We can decide. This is very, uh, are you guys enjoying this? Because this cracks me up. Um, you've got this. Hey, 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 you've got this. Okay. Now the question is, what color do I stamp it? I will stamp it. The Parakeet Party, one of the new in colors. Let's grab that. Okay, I'm gonna, I think we should be okay to get away with half an inch. Let's see whether that's too narrow. Yeah, it's a bit too narrow. Okay, what have we got left here? We've got three quarter inches. Okay, so let's stamp that. You've got this, maybe I'll do it in black. Let's see how it looks in the memento black. <laughs> Those of you with type A personalities are probably dying a slow death that I didn't have this planned ahead of time. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. See, it's, I don't know if this is too long. Let's see. We can chop this here. Because it seems weird to just say, hey, hey, hey. Maybe that's a bit rude, right? But we could put this under here somewhere. Yeah, I think this is okay. Hey, 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 you've got this. 
I was kind of thinking, see, this is why I really feel like it would be nicer this way. You know what I'm saying? But then I've got these flowers. They're going the wrong way. Okay. I have to do it this way. I am sorry, my friends. Because I've decided I don't like it this way. Unless I put the butterfly. Okay, sorry, type A personalities. I'm, I'm giving you a slow death here. Actually, this is not bad. But it's too late. I really like the E. So we just have to pick a different pattern is all we have to do. <laughs> Those of you dying a slow death, please don't die. Okay. Five and a quarter by two and a quarter. <laughs> I'm dying to read the comments here. Okay. Let's try two and a quarter. And those of you who like to be miserly with your paper, you're probably also dying a slow death too, but I do not. I mean, what's the point of buying it if I can't play, right? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Goodbye, flower paper. It was nice knowing you. Farewell. Okay, you're coming back. Okay, we're going landscape after all. Okay. And then the card will open like this. We've got this down here. Or we can say, hey, 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 you've got this. Let's see where it goes. Okay, so let's cut another white piece here. Goodbye, goodbye. Nice knowing you. <laughs> Okay, maybe we won't do this again. Okay, here we go. Ah! Where's our trimmer? I am having fun. I don't know if you're having fun. It's kind of cracking me up, this whole thing. Okay, so let's measure what we need here. One and seven eighths by three and a quarter. And seven eighths by three and a quarter. Okay, we gotta think carefully about this here. So we can do the hey, you've got this. So let's let's take a look here. If we do hey, you've got this. That's I think I yeah, that makes me happy. Okay, and that is the thing about paper crafting. It's your card you get to do what you want. You guys may have loved the other card better, but I didn't, so I decided to change it. I think I need a smaller butterfly, but still pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Yay. Okay, so let's put some dimensionals and that will be our card for today using a new celebration stamp set free with your 120 order. Okay, the only problem is we can't put this dimensional so far to the right because we don't want to kind of seal up the card. If I had the die, it would have cut a lot nicer. It's kind of bothering me that this is a little raggedy. Okay, so I'm just going to put adhesive at the top so that it doesn't seal the card shut. Okay, so the card will open like this. Okay, 
and then we'll put a little dimensional on that butterfly and that is it yay i survived throwdown tuesday create on the fly there we go fun so it would actually be nice to put a little piece of white inside so this is yep we can put a piece of four inch by five and a quarter inch in there let's do that four by five and a quarter Think it would be nice if I had the coordinating stamp set man I would really be rocking and rolling but I just love this paper okay so the inside piece five and a quarter by four inches and we'll put that in there they can write the little message just wondering whether I can use a strip of this to decorate it. There's adhesive on there, but you can just use it, your adhesive eraser. Actually, I'm just peeling it off with my finger. There we go. And then we'll stick this down. Okay. This will be the inside of the card. Isn't this a super cheery, happy card? I knew this paper would make me happy. I just knew it. Get that adhesive off there. And there we go. Oops. Oh no. Okay, we don't need that. Yay! Okay, so let me just I gotta unplug it off my battery here. Flip this over. Okay, friends. Thanks for joining me for another Tuesday at two. And um, I hope to see you soon. I hope you feel inspired by the new celebration stamp set that I am using today. <laughs> and don't forget to stay in touch with me and you can just head to my link tree um, for any of my important links and make sure to drop a note in the comments and let me know how you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye.